Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. What's up? Yeah, it's all good. What about you? Good man, good. How's it going? Yeah, everything is fine. I'm uh, home, relaxing a little bit. I had the train. Where is your home? Romania. In Romania, uh, where? Uh, city of Cluj. Oh, okay. Is the no second city after Bucharest, after the capital. It's a big city, oh, nice. big nice city. I recommend nice. everyone who wants to come to visit Romania. We have some very beautiful places. And I recommend everyone who wants to, to come to visit Europe. Romania has to be on, uh, on your schedule because it's a, it's a beautiful country. Nice. Were you born in the city as well? Uh, no, I was born in a different city of Suchava. But uh, in, the, in the last years, we settled down here in, uh, in Cluj. My wife, she's from Cluj. We have a house here, so uh, we settled down here. Great. So, what's up? What, what, what's it been like there? This is a, this is a weird time. I think uh, we're kind of returning to normals, you know. But what is, has what is the whole situation been like in your country? Uh, now the situation is, uh, is getting better. Uh, it was uh, two, three months ago. It was uh, worse. Uh, after uh, I come back from, uh, from ISL, after we played the final, uh, I could manage to, to come back home to enter, uh, enter the country. And uh, I think after I was lucky because after three or four days, all the borders were, uh, were closed. If I was a few days late, probably yeah. I, could, I, was, I was not able to, to come, uh, come to, to Romania. But the, the situation here, it was a little bit tough in some cities. Our city, it was uh, yeah. safe and we didn't have uh, any cases. But uh, mm -hmm. my hometown, the situation was uh, very bad. And uh, now the situation is better. New cases are, uh, are coming every day. Uh, but now uh, I think it's like India. They are making a lot of tests. And uh, uh, they have some cases. The, the rules are not so strict anymore. People can go out on the street, of course, with, uh, with protection and uh, everything. But yeah. uh, now the situation is, uh, is better. Tell me about the uh, situation in, in India because I'm in, uh, in touch with uh, a lot of people from India and they told me that uh, many cases are uh, uh, popping up every yeah. day and uh, I think the situation is not so, so good. I'm praying my, my thoughts are for, uh, for India and for the people from, uh, from India because I'm very, very connected with the country and I hope everything is going to become normal very soon yeah. uh, to start yeah. football again. I think people, they, they miss uh, football. They miss to watch the games. Mm -hmm. I also miss football. So I hope for the, yeah. for the best. Yeah. India, India is fine, Lucia. Yeah. It's just, uh, uh, it was always going to happen, right? If you open, open the lo lockdown, the cases will always go up. And I think this is going to be the new normal for everyone around the world for a while now. I think this is the new world that we are living in. You'll have to protect yourself from these things, and this is not going away anytime soon. I Last time we, I checked, we are. This is what I said. Uh, I was speaking with some friends uh, uh, a few days ago, and uh, I said to them that probably this is going to take time, and uh, probably we have to get used to to live with this virus for a while. Exactly. Because it's not uh, yeah. it's not going to disappear. Uh, not going away. Yeah, we'll see what uh, what is going to happen. Probably we have to to learn to protect ourselves uh, more. I don't think it's going to go away uh, in, uh, in the few months. So we have to get used to, to live with, with, this, uh, with this virus. Yeah. What's your family like, Lucia? Sorry? What's your family like? Uh, what do you have in your family? Uh, my family is okay. Uh, they are all safe here. Uh, uh, I'm with my wife, with my son. Uh, I'm going for uh, for training with with him because uh, he's going for uh, for training with his uh, his team in his academy. Also, we make some uh, with a friend of mine. We are making some uh, individual training with uh, with kids. And uh, he's training. Uh, he's playing home. Uh, we have a big yard, so uh, he's uh, enjoying. All my family is good. Also, the, the yeah. family in my hometown, everything is, uh, is good and safe because we are, a, we are a big family. I don't know if many people know, but uh, I have a big family. I have three brothers, three sisters. I have a brother who is living in the uh, U.S. 
uh, all the others they are living in Romania so uh, everything everything is fine that's always good to know yeah. good stuff so the reason i asked you that is uh, because listen now you're a family man you also have people around you that you want to protect does this alter your plans coming back to india to play football no uh, if it's about me if uh, if tomorrow i'm getting a call uh, to to come back india to to start training tomorrow i book my flight and i'll be back because i miss uh, i miss a lot i miss a lot i miss training with uh, with the team i'm training by myself but uh, it's not the same so uh, i'm uh, i cannot wait to to uh, i hope that i will come back to india for one more season because uh, i have i think uh, i i can play uh, uh, ysl in uh, one more season and uh, i'm i'm counting the days i think like i said all the people they are waiting i see all the the players from uh, from india they are posting on social media a lot of uh, yeah. stories movies with uh, with yeah. them training yeah uh, it's good to see that they are uh, keeping uh, to stay fit and they are training because they are professional and i have uh, i have a very good uh, very good opinion about the the indian players because they are uh, they are very professional all the yeah. for example of course i have a lot of players from uh, from chennai from mumbai but also from uh, from the other teams and i'm very happy yeah. when i see them posting uh, with uh, with their work every day this is something yeah. that uh, is a, is a positive thing uh, yeah. the negative thing in all this i said many times and i will keep saying i think is not only my opinion the break is too long yeah, yeah. all the players they can train individually but uh, it's not the same like uh, when you train with the team when you train under a coach and you saw how uh, how the the uh, the quality of the coach in the last seasons it's amazing and you saw what the the progress of the of the indian players uh, made under uh, the the foreign coaches also indian coaches yeah. some of them i saw that they are uh, they are training better and uh, they are uh, they are uh, making a school and they are taking the uh, license to to be coach but uh, yeah. the the long break is not uh, is not benefic for uh, for the for the players because uh, oh. it's too much uh, two three months probably it should uh, should be enough but you need training yeah. with the, with the team you can ri- run by yourself and to go in the gym every day but it uh, it's not the same that's why when when the team start to trainings uh they they need uh, two three weeks to to have uh, to be fit in a team yeah because individually they are they are fit but you miss uh, duels you need the uh, you need the uh, uh, game situations you need the uh, some things that uh, you cannot have training by yourself yeah so have you have you ever brought this up uh, in with the management with with the people who run the league as well have you ever brought this up from the players point of view cuz as fans we keep talking about these things uh the stakeholders they have their own business ideas they want to talk garbage as well but i think the play, people who matter the most are the ones who play on the pitch uh they are the ones who need the longest practice so have you ever conveyed this message to the people in the league no because normally we are uh, we are players and our job is to to do our best on the on the pitch our job is to to be 100% in every training uh us yeah. as foreigners we have to be uh, like uh, an example uh, in all the yeah. ways to be an example for uh, for the indian players because they have to because we have more many uh, players uh, foreigners that they are playing in isl they have more experience international experience some of them yeah. they played in uh, in top 5 uh, champion uh, championships in uh, in europe they have a lot of experience and we are doing our part but uh, this decision is not uh, is not up to us uh and we don't have to we don't want to involve in this kind of uh, we just say our opinion but we cannot uh, suggest the people uh, from the league or from the federation what to do i think they have to know these things and i i saw that also many coaches they uh, they talked about this problem because the season have to be a, a little bit longer uh my yeah. opinion is that you can uh, you can make it longer i understand that is the raining season in uh, in india uh, that is something that you cannot change but i think we have to make the season longer you have to find a solution and they, you have solution to some uh, 
some championships in uh, in uh, Europe also they are the same. They have uh, maybe ten teams, but they are playing uh, they are playing two times uh, each other, two times home, two times away. So like this, you make the the season longer. Uh, the yeah. idea with the Super Cup, uh, I don't think it was successful. That's why probably in the last uh, season they give up on it because uh, yeah. uh, that was a competition with no uh, I don't know no motivation. All the yeah. all the clubs, I saw also the players they have they had no motivation. Uh, if you want to continue with that, you can uh, you can find a way to motivate the players to motivate the clubs. Yeah. Maybe financially, mm. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy for the clubs to to make the season longer longer because I know they have a lot of expenses uh, regarding the accommodation and the food and the expenses for the team. Mm. But uh, knowing that the the Indian football is in, uh, they want to make progress and uh, they want to improve national team because this is the main target, my opinion. And uh, also, I believe that. Uh, if if they will change these kind of things, also for uh, for the national team, it will be a big uh, improvement. Because uh, you see now also national team players. Okay, yeah. this is the situation now, but uh, also for them, the other uh, you are fighting with who? If you take all the other teams uh, that India is fighting with, uh, Thailand, uh, Qatar, uh, also maybe smaller countries. But they don't yeah. have such a such a long break, and uh, exactly. in India you have a you have a very big uh, I don't know uh, you have a lot of good players you have a lot of good players with uh, some some amazing qualities and uh, they improved a lot in the in the last years. You have some leaders in the team. You have Sunil Chetri that uh, I think he can play a few years more uh, more because he's fit and professional hundred yeah. percent. We have uh, yeah. uh, Gurpreet, we have Amrinder, we have uh, Subashish, we have some some players yeah. with experience. Also, the young players yeah. like Chante, Tapa, they are coming from yeah. behind, but they need games. Yeah. They need games. They yeah. need to to be be fit uh, and to to make the season longer. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, um, before before I come to the players that um, that you just mentioned, this Super Cup idea, do you? I completely agree with the point about lack of motivation. I expected that to happen because after you've kind of done with the league, you don't want to pay, play anything. After the league, it's like done. Now the football season is done for me. But what if the Super Cup is placed before the uh, before the season or during that... the season or during the season? Or, but this or is maybe this is has to it has to be something. Uh, uh, that is called Super Cup. Okay, but you have to make it like a cup. All the yeah. all the because. Uh, I have a, I have a uh, uh, perception, you know. In football, you have to follow the the best, you know, mm-hmm. because you have yeah. to follow uh, which are the top five leagues in uh, in Europe. Mm. Uh, India is in a, in a process of uh, de- uh, development of football. Yeah. So you have yeah. to follow. There is nowhere in the world where the there is a super cup uh, after the season is finished. There is a super cup. You have no motivation. The winner of the league. They just make a photo with a with a trophy. Is the the idea of winning a trophy? But you have to make yeah. in all the countries. Uh, for example, in Romania, who is winning the cup? Yeah. It has a spot to play uh, Europa League. This is something. Mm-hmm. Also, they have to consider this. The, if you want to make it, you can make it during the season between the games. Mm-hmm. You put all the teams from my league and the ISL. I agree with this, and the winner. To have a to have a spot in the uh, AFC, yeah. But some things are happening there. I saw now that uh, the they they give the spot for uh, for the AFC to Bengaluru. With all due respect Hello. for the club and for the for the people there, but I think the Chennai Chennai was uh, deserving that because they played we played the final. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, that's why you are making the the playoffs. Yeah. Even if you yeah. if you but, finish the season second on the table. Yeah. But uh, you you didn't reach the final, so we yeah, we exactly. uh, we uh, took out uh, we put out Goa, uh, very yeah. very good team, and yeah. we played the final, and you you have yeah. no uh, no bonus yeah. for that. So I think they have to yeah. find a way to make the another competition and to 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 make uh, to find a way to to motivate the clubs also. 
and the and the players yeah i want to ask you something lucian so uh, when this bengaluru news came around I, everyone was shocked including me because i thought it was given that you guys had the spot were you guys convinced that you had the spot and did you were you communicated this later because according to the so called rules bengaluru should be getting that spot but in our heads we were always in, under the assumption that chennai should be getting that spot so what were, what were you guys thinking uh when i saw that news uh of course i was uh, feeling a little bit frustrated because uh i was thinking that we deserve that and i think uh, from many points of view we deserve that especially that we we started the season not so good but after we had an uh, amazing comeback and uh it was uh, it was a great achievement for the for the club for the players for the coach uh, for the coaches for the, all the people who are involved in the in the club for us it was uh, it yeah. was amazing to reach the final and uh, i think we yeah. were feel i think everybody in the, in the club every also the fans of chennai they were feeling a little bit frustrated about that but the problem is that yeah. uh these kind of things you have to settle down before the season before the, yeah. the season is starting you have to settle down the winner of the league yeah. is playing afc second place after the season is finished second place is playing and who played this is has something that you have to to decide before the season so all the, you cannot change yeah. the rule during the game this is uh, never happening and also this yeah. uh, the the rules about uh, about india they have to decide because now uh, i'm asking you now do you know how it's going to be the next season when it's going to start the season no i have uh, no idea the problem is that also some some good players also foreigners they have no uh, yeah. no confidence that uh, they will come back you see also now yeah. because also now is a special situation because of this virus but also yeah. some players they are uh, waiting and some of them they yeah. have families home they have to stay fit and maybe some of them they will sign uh, somewhere in europe or in uh, in some other countries and you can yeah. lose some players that did a fantastic job in isl so mm. they have to know because now if the clubs in this moment if they know okay in september we start the uh, pre-season in november we start yeah. the season the club they know how yeah. to move but now this yeah. because of this situation now the clubs they don't uh, they cannot make an offer and also yeah. in the last uh, two months i didn't saw any club to sign a foreigner true you yeah know? only indian being in another all indian true. players yeah there are yeah. Uh, popping up some uh, some rumors about some uh, some foreigners but this uh, nothing happened uh, uh, for sure so but yeah. i now this is also situation uh, is a little bit strange and uh, i think i hope that in uh, uh, at least one month all the situation to to yeah. come back to normal in the clubs to start to yeah. to move and to sign players and to yeah. to keep the improvement that it was in the in the last year because they have uh, india have a lot of uh, good quality players and uh, the cap capacity to to make progress and i hope that yeah. one day india will make the dream come true of every fan to to qualify for a world cup i'll be so happy i'll be a fan i wear the jersey every day <laughs> every game i wear the indian jersey and i will sing I the anthem I also <laughs> yes it's going to happen soon you need time you cannot uh, just snap your fingers and uh, to make this happen but uh, I think it it will happen uh, soon. Uh before before we diverge from the from the topic and talk about talk about your experience in India. I I want to get an understanding of this cuz uh I think the Asian Champions League spot was announced when the season was going on. I think that's when it was said that the league winners will be given yes. the league shield and that league shield was made during the league as well. so all of these things were developing as the league was going on which is a bit of a mess honestly indian football is a mess when it comes to all that but was there no clear communication that okay if you even make the playoff final and you do not uh, you, uh, like you end up second and not win it you will not get asian spots was was that not clear that was that was not clear and i think it's not fair because uh, it was a performance by uh, for the for the players for the Uh, everybody involved in the club for the owners because they invested some money we played the final and uh, yeah. uh, we see some other teams uh, they are uh, they are taking our spot like i said it's a yeah. little bit frustrated but 
us as a players, we, we cannot, we have nothing to do. We have no power to do nothing. Uh, this is about the, the club management and uh, they have to, to uh, ask the people uh, from, from the league why, uh, why this happened. But uh, yeah. this is something that you have to decide before the, the season. Because normally, if uh, you have to know from, uh, from the beginning, from, the, uh, from before the, the season starts, you have to know what you are fighting for. What yeah. are the, uh, the owners of the, of the clubs, they have to know what they are investing for, monies. Yeah. Because some, uh, some extra games in, uh, in uh, AFC, they can bring you uh, some, uh, some money from tickets. Uh, you can uh, play, uh, play abroad. And there is a, a motivation and it's like a reward. You have, to, you have to get a reward. For us, I think we are deserving to get a reward. And that was the, our yeah. reward to, to play uh, yeah. AFC. Us or maybe some, uh, some other players. But the club, the people who invested the money in the club, they needed this, uh, this reward because we, we deserved it. We, we won it. Nobody gave us uh, nothing. That was, uh, yeah. this is my opinion. But like I said, there are people who are uh, running the, the uh, club, the federation, the league uh, owners, and uh, they, they are deciding. Yeah. Well, they, they have a job to do as well, which I have not been doing well, clearly. Because uh, something like this, I, you don't have to, these are, these are my words, not yours, but something like this, just cannot slip under the radar of someone who is running the football in this country, which is the AIFF and of course the league as well, which is the ISL. It's, it's kind of shocking how all three organizations just let this slip and no player had a clue and came as a surprise. It's just probably Probably shocking. also, probably also for, uh, for uh, people from the club of Bengaluru, probably they were surprised and uh, they were... Uh, but they had a nice surprise for uh, for Chennai, for example. It was a uh, not pleasant uh, surprise, but for them was a, yeah. was a good surprise. I don't know if they were expecting this. Uh, anyway, if they will uh, they will play, I wish them uh, all the best and uh, to I wish them to to have good results and to uh, because having uh, having good results and uh, achieving a maximum that you can get from uh, that uh, competition is good for Indian football. So uh, yeah. we have to take it as it is and to, to wish them good luck and uh, that's it. Yeah, super classic for me, by the way, that Lucian. I lost you there for a bit, but that statement is super classy as always. I think your video is processing. I don't know where the problem is. Is it mine or is it... Can you hear me right now? I can hear you, yeah, loud and clear, all good. Cool. Your, your audio was lagging for some reason. Anyway, let's, yeah, come, yeah. let's come to the players that you were talking about, or Indian players in general. You said that they have great quality. I want to ask you, who is who's that Indian player that you looked at first and was like, oh, okay, who, who gave you this impression that, okay, Indian players are not that bad, they're pretty good. So, who was that first player who made you feel that? This season, it was Tapa for me. This season, the other seasons in uh, in Mumbai, uh, I had also some uh, some player that uh, I went, I was impressed about their their qualities. Uh, Tapa yeah. made a lot of progress, uh, and uh, I think my opinion, uh, besides his qualities, uh, the the main reason that he made a lot of progress it was uh, on coil, because uh, he knew how to to give him a lot of confidence. And uh, Tapa is a player that needs confidence. Uh, he doesn't yeah. have that confidence in national team. I don't know why. Many times I spoke with him and uh, asked him uh, why he's not so confident uh, in the, in the yeah. national team like he's in, uh, in Chennai. Uh, the coach yeah. gave him a lot, of, uh, a lot of confidence and he trusted him. And when you feel that uh, the coach believes in you, uh, you have the qualities uh, uh, the things are uh, going in the in the right way, and I think he's uh, besides his uh, technical qualities, uh, he's a very smart player. I like him very a good lot. Player. Yes, he's a good player, but he's very smart and intelligent, and many times he's uh, he's yeah. playing very good. Chante also, he had a good season. He have some uh, some amazing qualities. Yeah. Uh, He's very fast. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. he plays. Uh, he kicks the ball 
uh, very good with both legs. This is a big uh, leverage yeah. for uh, for a player. Yeah. Uh, he had also some players uh, around him. At the beginning, we didn't know each other too much because we were a completely new team. But after that, you yeah. start to understand what uh, Rafa, for example, wants for uh, from him. Uh, how yeah. uh, how he have to ask the ball deep when Rafa have the ball mm-hmm. because uh, he is having very good qualities. And after he start to play uh, better and better, he start to score goals. Okay. I think is his best season in ISL so far. Uh, yeah. Like I said, Edwin also he was uh, improving a lot, and uh, yeah. he started as a right back. But after he started to play in the yeah. middle, and uh, if you if you push him uh, in training, because sometimes he's a little bit uh, yeah. taking it easy, but we are pushing yeah. him every time. He was pushing, maybe sometimes he didn't like that, but I told him that yeah. he have some good qualities, and uh, I am trying to push him more. To be to be better, and uh, I, you saw that after he was uh, he was called for national team, he was very happy yeah. when uh, when he got the message that he was uh, called for national team. It was like yeah. a reward for uh, for him. Also in Mumbai, yeah. I had some uh, some players with some very good qualities. Amrin, that he was uh, he's a very good goalkeeper, uh, very constant. I remember also when I was playing in Mumbai, I was feeling very confident with him behind me. Because I knew yeah. that I have somebody to to protect me. He was a, a leader, also. He was talking a lot, helping uh, uh, the other players. He knew when to 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 shout to someone when if a player was not connected or something. He knew when to to uh, switch it on, switch him on. You know, uh, Rainier, yeah. for example, from Mumbai. He have uh, he has some very good qualities. Uh, now he started yeah. to play and he was improving. Uh, some young players like Pranjal, uh, Subashish. Last year he had a good season. Depends yeah. also uh, who are you playing along with. Because uh, when exactly. I was playing with uh, with Subashish, every time I was uh, keeping him uh, uh, connected. And uh, because of the can happen to me, you have some play- some moments when you switch off. But for that, yeah. that for that, for that you are you are a team. You are eleven players on the on the pitch, and you you have someone to 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 uh, put you back on the on the track. Like I said, many many players with uh, with really good qualities. And uh, Balwan, he was a very good striker that uh, that was having a lot of qualities, very strong. And uh, I remember that in an ISL four, I think. He scored. Uh, yeah. He scored some goals. He won. He was one of yeah. the one with JJ. I think he was one of the best strikers with Sunil also. Yeah, and he was yeah. improving. Uh, Anwar Ali. I played uh, with him in the in the defense, and also he was a yeah. good player. Very good. Very good yeah. player, and with experience, it uh, and it was a it was a pleasure uh, to play with him. I was saying to him, Anwar, we have experience. If we play with experience, we are smart players. If you play, we don't even have to sweat in the game because you play from uh, positioning and experience. And uh, yeah. he's a he's a clever player also. Yeah, well, Anwar Ali was 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 solid as well. We have got a younger Anwar Ali coming to Mumbai City FC. Let's hope that he returns as well. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Um, but let's let's talk about Chennai in a bit. I think uh, your season, the way it was going. And then all of a sudden, the switch that happened—it was quite incredible, honestly. I, what is that down to? Of course, Owen Coyle came in and really changed things up. What was it exactly that changed so dramatically that you guys ended up in the final? Because it was a delight to watch. Uh, yes, he came and he changed a lot, uh, a lot the team. Uh, John Gregory—he uh, was very good coach. Also, he's a very good coach, and also he have this. Uh, uh, British style. Every time he was positive, every time he was giving confidence to the players. But it was not mm. uh, easy for him because, uh, like I said, we are a completely new team, and uh, we had uh, one month and one week or one month and two weeks of training before the season started. It's not easy yeah. to to build a team, because I was uh, mm. saying this many times. Uh, if you see uh, Bengaluru, if you see uh, Goa. 
they have the same team in the last two three years. Maybe they change one or two players, but the the main players they are the same. In Bengaluru, yeah. they have uh, eight or nine players who played uh, together in the last two three years. It's much better. Yeah. It's much easier for uh, for a coach. It's much more difficult when you have a completely new team. And uh, exactly. we had also uh, some key moments that were uh, were that happened against us because uh, I remember in the in the first game against Goa we didn't play too bad. Uh, yeah. We had a penalty when uh, it was nil nil. We had a penalty on uh, on Dragos and that was a penalty by the book, but the referee uh, didn't give us after they scored mm-hmm. and after after everything uh, crashed. Then we played uh, yeah. Mumbai home. Uh, we had a lot of chances to score, but Amrinder uh, did some amazing saves and uh, yeah. it was uh, nil-nil. Uh, after that, yeah. we played ATK home, the same. Yeah. We played very good. We had a lot of chances. Uh, they yeah. had one uh, counter-attack and uh, they scored and we lost uh, one nil. Also, we yeah. were, uh, after that, the, the pressure started to come uh, on, the, on the people up front because they were not scoring. Also, we were conceding. A lot of goals. I was not happy yeah. about that, and uh, the confidence of the players was uh, was down. And mm. uh, after that, uh, when the when the club decided to to make uh, to make a change, Owen Coyle came and uh, he managed in a, in a short, relative short time. He started to to give us uh, confidence, and he started to give us uh, to make us to train better, to give more in training, and. Uh, yeah. I remember that we started with a draw in Jamshedpur with a late goal because we were leading 1-0. After, yeah. uh, I think we lost in Odisha. Yeah. And after that, we started to... We won 3-0 in... Uh, 3-1 in uh, Hyderabad. And after, we yeah. started some uh, an amazing series. We had some uh, very difficult games. And after uh, all the, the winnings and the people up front, they were starting to score goals. That was amazing yeah. for their confidence, and uh, we we finished the the season and we reached the semi final. That was an uh, an amazing uh, performance. It was not easy because yeah. many times you know that it's not easy to play under pressure, and we're playing every yeah. game under pressure. At the beginning, nobody was talking about uh, Chennai, even if we won two three games. But after that, when they saw that uh, we started to play, that uh, the team has a new identity, and uh, yeah. We won. Uh, I remember in uh, we won in Kerala. We won uh, home against Kerala. We won in uh, uh, ATK, three one. Yeah. Uh, that was some uh, some uh, good things for our uh, confidence and uh, to to make us win the team. And after the the game in Mumbai, when it was like a final for us, also there it was uh, it was pressure because if we were yeah. losing, we were out. But uh, we won and uh, we we qualified after the amazing game with uh, with Goa home. I remember yeah. the atmosphere in the stadium. It was amazing. Our fans they were uh, fantastic, and they pushed us from from behind. And you know mm. Goa is uh, uh, one of the best Brilliant. teams in ISL, and uh, it was an amazing yeah. win. And uh, like this was the this was the story. We feel bad that uh, we didn't uh, we didn't win the trophy. Also in the final, I think we had uh, we had a lot of chances to score. We were a little bit unlucky at the beginning because we started much better the the game in the so last twenty twenty five. Yes, uh, Valkis hit the hit the post. We had some very good chances, and in football, yeah. that's why football is nice. Uh, this is happening uh, when you when you don't score, the other team uh, the other team have uh, half a chance and uh, and they score. And after that, yeah. it was uh, much more difficult because we took some risks. And uh, yeah. but after all, we are happy what we achieved. Uh, we built a very good group in uh, in Chennai. I was enjoying every moment that uh, that I spent there, and I have a lot of beautiful memories. So this is uh, this is the the positive things in uh, in what happened. Yeah, that's for sure. I was I was one of the very few lucky people who was watching the final as well because I was filming that day, and I was in the stadium. So just to hear everything, and Owen is just shouting at all times. Owen is just really loud 
<laughs> in your face kind of a manager so you can hear everything that he is saying as well i want to know what is that one thing that he did that of course he must have done a lot of things and manage, manage football management is not that easy but was that one thing that he changed that kind of changed your fortunes as a team when he came in uh one of the reasons that we started to play better it was that we were training better and my philosophy is that uh, i have experience and uh, i know this if you are training good you are playing good the way you train mm. that's the way you are playing because yeah. uh, maybe sometimes it can happen maybe one week before one game you are training bad all the team is training bad and maybe you can win one time maximum two times but after that that is yeah. not possible but we started to to train better and that was uh, that was one uh, one reason, one of the reasons that uh, we we were achieved to 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 play the final another uh, another thing was the confidence that uh, that he gave and he was believing in us he was talking about yeah. when he was coming we were last second last in the table and he was talking about becoming champions <laughs> sometimes it was a little bit strange you know come on this guy okay is good but at least you have to be a, li- a bit realistic but he trusted the quality of the team he trusted the the potential mm-hmm. of the team and he was talking about come on we have to win this game to qualify for the playoffs and to become champions and we're a little bit come on okay you give you give us confidence yeah. but <laughs> keep it real you know <laughs> But after that we yeah. started to win some games we were saying hey this guy is not crazy he knows what he's yeah. talking because he have a lot of experience yeah. he was coaching uh, in premier league this is something that you don't get easy that uh, in, to yeah. be coach in premier league you have to have some qualities so yeah after when we started to approach the semi finals we were thinking hey this guy was right he was yeah. right to believe in us and after mm. we had more confidence and more confidence and the people up yeah. front they were starting to score goals they were more yeah. confident after when uh, yeah. when also uh, i was talking with uh, eli sabia every game yeah. the other teams a central defender was scoring a goal or something i said come on my friend it's time for us we are not scoring we didn't score one yeah. goal but yeah. after that i scored in mumbai and we both scored yeah. in the in goa and i told him listen we will score when the team will need most our goals and <laughs> this is what happened you know so uh... yeah it's amazing how underrated it can be right like just i think sometimes people uh, are like don't change too much it's always nice to have the same setup but you remove one cog in the system and you, and you add it another in owen coil and all of a sudden a team that was struggling so badly that was was probably going to end up uh, in bottom ended up in the final so it's in football it's just amazing how things things worked out were you confident this was going to happen uh, after we st- uh, the after the way we started the season after four five rounds no i was afraid yeah. i was thinking i was yeah. saying to to the to the players because we had some some talks sometimes between us only a meeting some meetings just with the players and i told them uh, listen from my experience in uh, in ISL in the previous seasons and with uh, yeah. the experience that I shared with uh, some other foreigners uh, after the middle of the champion the, the season if you'll be last on the yeah. table we'll have no motivation nobody will trust us anymore it's going to be yeah. tough for us the the second part of the season because we have no motivation we have no chance to reach the semi finals people don't trust you anymore we'll play with no fans on the on the stands we'll have no support from the from the fans we'll have on social media everybody will say uh, this and this and this yeah. and this is making you a little bit uncomfortable yeah i said but also it was uh, it was something that uh, we were uh, at the beginning last first uh, two three months like i said you have in in a team you have 25 different characters yeah. after 2 3 months at the beginning also we had some discussions between the players one player was not liking this one player one time he was nervous the other maybe he was responding maybe he was uh... after that 
we knew. If I know that one time I'm, after one training I'm nervous because I'm, I'm losing a game, maybe I'm saying something bad. But they know me already. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, and they, they say, uh, okay, I know Goyan. In one minute he'll become, uh, he'll, he'll come down. Uh, yeah. Vast is maybe he's uh, like that. Maybe uh, Rafa is, uh, we started to understand each other. We started to, yeah. one uh, positive thing, it was, uh, I couldn't, uh, I forgot to mention that. When it was uh, the, the Christmas and the New Year, mm. uh, before I was maybe the, me and the Ellie, we were the only one who had the family there most of the time. After that, yeah. uh, Rafa family came. Uh, yeah. uh, the family of uh, Andre Skembri came with, uh, with us. Uh, came a yeah. uh, girlfriend of Dragos. Came a uh, wife yeah. and uh, kids of uh, Valskis. We yeah. seated more. We had the dinner together. We had a beer or two. This uh, has to be. We started to build a relation between us. After that happened, yeah. after also the team started to, to grow and after the team started to win. This is very important. As a coach, also yeah. this, you have to have a feeling. Uh, one time we were going for bowling, all the team, to have some fun. Two hours, yeah. one afternoon, it yeah. was free. We go bowling. Yeah. One time he took us to the movie all together. Some uh, events. Uh, this is uh, building the, the connection and the, the, is making the family much stronger and to yeah. accept things from, uh, from each other. And this yeah. is seen in, uh, in game and in training. This also yeah. was, uh, was important. Makes sense. I've yeah. got two requests from Amrinder who was in the comments. So oh. Amrinder's number one request is, I don't know if he's on the live right now. Paji, if you're there, drop your comment. Uh, number one is he wants, to, wants you to sing a Punjabi song. And number, one, number two, he wants to see Luca as well. He wants to see Luca. I think my, yeah. my wife, she's watching this and uh, because Luca is outside somewhere, probably she will uh, call him to come to, to join the video. And okay. uh, oh. my wife said Luca is coming now. Paji, kya se ho? Tike? Oh, he's dead. Baba, you are oh. still upset of me? Because uh, I, make, uh, I made the, the break longer for you? Because you didn't qualify for uh, semis. <laughs> <laughs> this was like a, like a knife in the heart, you know. I know, right? <laughs> it's like you can't even do anything right now about it. Yes. Punjabi song. He's like, I'm good as long as you sing a Punjabi song. Luca will join soon, I think. I heard the door. I think he, he has to come to, to join me. Which That's song he song. wants me to, to sing? Paji, what do you want to sing? Hi, Luca. What's up? Fine, like always. How are you? Um, I was uh, in the house watching TV. Before okay. we had, we yes, before we were playing in the garden with, uh, with, uh, with uh, some splashing some water. Nice. And uh, we have. So, uh, does Luca, Luca understand Hindi as well? Have you taught him? Apart from the bad words, obviously. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't know bad words, only I know the bad words. <laughs> I know you know the bad words, we'll he come to that bad, as well. He had a very good teacher, who was, uh, two teachers he had, in the bus. Yeah, German. And? And, um... Come on, your brother. <laughs> oh my God, forgot his name right now. Deepak, oh Deepak, Deepak, Deepak oh Paji. God. Deepak, Deepak Tangri. Yeah. What he was, uh, what he was teaching you? Uh, like, Keseho, Tiken. The thing that I have to, the basic things. She was making, uh, she was That's talking to him every time. Yes. Punjabi song? Which song do you, you um, know? Ego, Lahore Dia. Hola, Gandhi, Lahore Dia. Yeah. No? <laughs> and impressed? Yes, he impresses it. We know. We have 
Every time we're Keep going. Madina Banden Utai go Mardi. Mota Madina Banden Utai go Mardi. Mota Madina Banden Uta Home Mardi. A canary in the body, kid the lady kitty. Mary sat like a valley, get the dairy get the air. A canary in the body, kid the lady kitty. Mary sat like a valley, get the dairy get the air. You know how to do the Bangla, Luca? No. Oh, this, knows, this you need to learn. He knows, but he's not in a good shape now. He had good teachers. He is dancing every time after we are uh, coming back from the games. The guys came, okay, go in the go and dance, Luca. And he was dancing, <laughs> dancing with them. But do you know the do you know the Bangra, Lucia? No. Which one? No. Bangra is the is the Punjabi dance that you do with the Punjabi song. There's a lot of teaching that needs to be done. I saw uh, I saw Deepak. I saw Deepak dancing that. So you've seen it. That's not bad. I promise that I will learn this and uh, if I come back to ISL, I promise we'll make one more life and we'll dance, uh, dance it together. Perfect. That's a deal. And we'll add Amrinder in it as well. Okay. <laughs> if he's still not uh, still upset with us. <laughs> you think Amrinder sure is upset is that... that I score and like, I kicked out Mumbai? No, no, because he's our brother. Yeah. <laughs> Luca, he's saying that every time. Hey, Dad, uh, which are the, the Punjabi songs? Uh, me... Amrinder, uh, Anwar, Davinder, Senaj. I said, of course, because Luca is saying that he's Punjabi. <laughs> Amazing. And, I think you guys, you guys have been like really deeply rooted into this country now. Like, how long have you have you been in India? We played four seasons already. Th- three years, right? Four years. Four, four. First, uh, it was I sell three, four, five, and six. And seven That's is crazy. coming. Yeah. If seven coming is the question. This is what uh, we would like to. Like I said every time. Luca, you want to go back to India? Yay! Which team? Hmm. I'm not sure. Come on, Luca. Whatever you say is going to happen. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. For some As... reason, I lost you. Which team did uh, Luca decide on? Chennai. Chennai. Because uh, my dad already, already played three seasons in Mumbai, so... We played two more in Chennai, and after, I can retire. Now, we'll see what, uh, you... what is going to happen. Uh, I don't know for sure now. Uh, I'm very happy that, uh, that I had a good season also last, uh, last season. I was the captain yeah. of the team. I was, it was an honor for me and I was proud uh, to, to be the captain and to, to lead the team. I hope I, uh, I did, uh, I did a, good, uh, good job as a good job as a, as a leader. And uh, yeah. I, I was uh, attached to, to the city and to, to the uh, people there. They have some amazing people around the team also. And uh, also this was very important. I forgot to say that the support of the, the owners... When we were last in the table, I remember uh, 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 Mrs. Vita, she was coming to the, to the dressing room before the game and she was, uh, yes, she was uh, uh, give us, giving us support and she was saying that she will support us and she will be there with, uh, with us even if we were last on the table. Yeah. She was uh, coming to, to watch us and to, to encourage uh, the players and I was saying to her that this is a big thing for uh, for the young players, especially, and uh, yeah. because you know sometimes in football when you don't have such a good results, the people they are going away from you, but they keep yeah. believing in uh, in us, and uh, you saw that uh, the the nice moments that that we lived after. So yeah. uh, I will see what is going to happen. I would like to to come to have one more uh, season in uh, in ISL. I miss India, yeah. I miss all the people there because I was always feeling there uh, good and I was feeling the, the support and the love of the, of the football fans and uh, I still have a message, a lot of messages every day from uh, mm. different teams, from Kerala, from all, 
all the other cities they are uh, showing me love and support and for me this is uh, one of the best things that can happen yeah i mean i can i can vouch for people in india and fans in india that they have an affection towards you uh, part of the reason is that you've just adopted to this country so well uh, i've seen you sing the national anthem i think i've seen luka sing the national anthem as well yes. which is adorable honestly uh, and it just just tells you that it's not for you it's not about just the interview and saying the words that yes i enjoy it in india but you actually belong to the place which is which is something that we admire as as people uh, in this country so that's great uh how did the national anthem thing uh, come about with the national anthem uh, it was like uh, can you hear me yeah okay i think i have to go to recharge my phone a little bit because i will be without battery soon so we have to just a second please sorry about that no worries lucian take all all the time in the world look i saying that he wants to say something uh yes earlier i saw in the comments that somebody um uh, wrote like this lucian what's your opinion about going to uh, kerala blasters kerala blasters please yeah say your opinion my opinion to go <laughs> to kerala blasters uh kerala blasters is my uh, my opinion they have the they have a lot of the fans they have a lot of passion for uh, for football and uh, i always uh, speak very nice about the the fans of kerala because people they ask me how uh, how about india how is the atmosphere of the games uh, how many people are coming for the games and every time every time i say that all the the teams they have a uh, very big uh fan uh base but uh, kerala is uh, is one of the best and uh, i tell them every time when i remember when i played one time in kerala in front of uh, 55000 people and uh, everybody yeah. was wearing yellow and uh, with the the flashes on uh, i remember in half time i was playing yeah. in mumbai thinking i sell for that was something that uh, that i will never forget and when you see the 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 passion of the people when in the day of the game when you are approaching the the stadium and you see all that people uh, even if you are uh, the opponent team uh, and we are coming they cheer for us yeah. they uh, wave their hands and uh, they don't uh, say something bad to you or they just enjoy yeah. the game and they support the team and mm-hmm. i think my opinion is that uh, kerala they they deserve more the team deserves more and uh, they they need uh, they deserve at least to to play a final because yeah. uh, because of their uh, fan base also the uh, chennai fans they were amazing this season and they were coming they were supporting us also when we started bad but after when we started and to we started to win the games they were coming more and more and more and uh, yeah. i remember now also the atmosphere around the stadium when we were coming all the positive energy yeah. around the team after the games when they were waiting for us uh, the locker rooms outside and uh, singing with us and taking photos with us that is something that makes you feel a, a, a real football player and uh, is like a, like a reward for all the work and all the sacrifice you did uh, all your life because football player yeah. is is a good life but it's not easy many times you have to make a lot of sacrifice and that's why when you when you have this kind of moments your uh, your heart is uh, twice bigger that's so true uh, <laughs> with with kerala obviously i think luka i think it's fair to say that you want your father to play in kerala blasters right uh well um, for me is just uh, him to play at a good team because uh, kerala yes um uh, like my dad said they are a very good team they have a lot of fans and uh, the fans in football the fans um, are very important because um, our romanian coach said that without fans it wouldn't be football yeah that's so true do you have a good coach yes of course <laughs> we'll see what is going to happen the the most important yeah. is to to past this situation yeah. and uh, all the the things to to come back to normal after we we'll see yeah. uh, what uh, what is going to happen every time yeah. i was uh, i was thinking that god is doing for uh, for us what is was is the the best and we will see yeah. uh, what is going to happen 
well there's pros to both i, I think wherever you go it's going to be great because with kerala you will get an experience that is just unforgettable i think every every player wants to kind of play for kerala whoever comes to india as a fan as well i think i've never experienced anything like going to that stadium ever even if i'm i've been to old trafford as well i think what i experienced when the 2016 isl final in kochi uh, around 100000 people in that stadium that day what i experienced that day at goosebumps all over my body you can't replicate that so i completely understand that as a player you would want to play for that fan base and with chennai of course you know you're the captain of the club you're building something great you went to the final maybe next season you'll go off and win it so i would like know. to i would like to to stay in chennai because uh, i'm not a guy that uh, he wants to change every time the team like i said uh, i'm very <clears throat> very close to the people there uh it was uh, it was amazing and also after the season finished i told them that uh, they have all my appreciation and uh, my love because uh people around the team people that you don't see them too much in photos or everything but they were so important for the team and uh, i remember also in training when we were doing some uh, exercises they were uh, clapping hands and they were uh, encouraging us you know all the people starting with the kit man uh, finishing with the medical team and the media team and everything this is very important to have uh, good people around the team positive people with good heart because uh, you know yeah. when you are losing a game next day in training you saw people there mm, a little bit uh, yeah. <laughs> wrinkled no this is football sometimes you win sometimes you lose so if yeah. you have faith and you keep supporting can happen what happened uh, with us so uh, also people in the club they were uh, they were very very good with us and they were uh, always feeling uh, my family was feeling very good there so we we'll yeah. see what that's what on. matters exactly that's what matters yeah. uh, i think someone some in the comments asked uh, how did the uh, how did the national anthem thing happen I think you did answer that question but I think the line was breaking and maybe the fans didn't catch it so if you don't mind repeating uh, that happened because uh, when I was in uh, Mumbai I was captain in ISL 4 and uh, Amrinder uh, before the game we were in the line with the referees and uh, everybody was standing up and uh, the national team was on the in the stadium and she was singing it she was singing it so proud and loud and uh, i w- i was loving the melodic line of the of the song yeah and, uh, i couldn't understand the the words and after that i yeah. said uh, when i came back uh, after the season isl 4 i said to to my wife listen i will learn the lyrics of uh, indian uh, anthem she said okay we'll learn it with you also she my wife she knows uh, she know the the lyrics yeah. and i didn't say nothing great. to to anyone Oh, it does much. First game when we played, I didn't say nothing to no one. And after that, when I started to sing the anthem, Amrinder, he was shocked. He was looking at me. Also, the the other Indian players uh, from Mumbai, they were bending forward to see who is singing so loud. The referees <laughs> also. And after, uh, I remember that uh, every game I was uh, singing it. I was impressed also about uh, about one thing that made me uh, uh, learn the the lyrics. Uh, one time I was in Mumbai and I was doing a uh, uh, massage in a medical room and uh, it was uh, the time of uh, beginning of the new game someone who was playing I don't know and we were watching the yeah. the game on TV and uh, the guy was making massage he was sitting on a chair when the anthem started he stopped he stand yeah. and he was yeah. uh, standing while the the anthem was uh, was on and that was a uh, yeah. uh, uh, show show the respect for the for the national anthem i was impressed yeah. about that you know so uh, with with the national anthem as well did you guys have a conversation later in the dressing room about it because of course like on the pitch you game focused on the game but later you must have had a chat about it right yeah they were uh, they were amazed that i could learn the the lyrics and uh, they were asking me hey what made you uh, learn the lyrics and everything and i said i want to to be part of you to to sing it together and after i was uh, asking the other players 
also Suvik Chakrabati. I say, my friend, you speak with me, don't let me speak uh, sing alone. Because I'm not such a good singer. But uh, with, uh, with more people, is, uh, it sounds better. It's like a choir. Yeah. It is a choir. I think, like, as someone who's, who's in the stands mostly and singing it, I think there's a, there's a very weird connection that you feel with everyone in the stadium because everyone belts that anthem out, everyone's standing, and just there's a, there's a certain chemistry that goes around in, in that place, uh, which is just electric. Yeah, it had, uh, uh, it uh, had uh, an uh, yeah. unexpected, uh, it had an unexpected uh, impact, positive impact, and a lot of people, they were uh, sending me messages and uh, they were uh, amazed about uh, the fact that I was uh, I was singing the national anthem and I was not singing it uh, people who saw me sing it that's why uh, many of them said that I was singing it from from the heart it's not just uh, yeah. you have to no because uh, it's a bit, it was a pleasure uh, every yeah. time uh, even uh, in the last games now yeah. because uh, I couldn't wait for the for the uh, anthem to start to to sing to sing it because okay. that was a way to show my uh, my respect and appreciation for uh, for India and for the yeah. great time that I had there and for the all the, the support and the love of the the people from there. Yeah. Well, it's an era of gimmicks, honestly, and I think when in the era of gimmicks, something genuine like this happens, it's it's much like it's great to appreciate that thing because. Yours wasn't a gimmick. It clearly came from somewhere and it was very yeah. easy to recognize that. So even the first time when I saw it, and I'm one of the very first people to call bullshit on things when I see it, I didn't call bullshit on that because I clearly saw that you meant it and it came from a place. So that was, it was quite adorable. And I would like to thank you for it from, uh, from the behalf of all fans. And thank you. Keep doing it. Yeah, it's a really nice Tell touch. Luke. Luke, I want to say something. Um, I want to say two things before I go. Uh, so first Go of all, after my dad will retire, the Goyan family will have two football stars still playing. Me and my cousin. So that Luca Goyan and? Matei Goyan. Matei Goyan. That's it. Perfect. And the second thing is that I saw um, some uh, very good questions in the, in the comments. And uh, I would like to tell them to my dad. So, the first one was... You work for, you work for Instagram or...? Uh... Uh, no. Okay. So the first one was, <laughs> what was your favorite goal in ISL? My favorite goal in ISL was the most important goal in ISL. It was the goal against Mumbai because with that goal, I, we qualified for the, for the semifinals. Probably. Luca, okay. next. Then uh, they were. It was one guy in the comments that uh, uh, told you, asked you to come to Bangalore. What would you think about this? Bangalore. Come on, right? On. Not happening. They have, they have good uh, good defenders, and I don't know if they are uh, interesting to interested to change the the defenders. Okay, and um, another comment was for me. Um, this is the last one. Uh, one guy uh, said that when I'm going to grow up, when I'm going to be an adult, he said that I'm going to uh, play for Chennai. And this is one of my plans. This is one of my plans. Perfect. Bye-bye. <laughs> Perfect, Luca. What a, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. You've raised him right. <laughs> yes, he's, and if, uh, if you want to talk with him, he will talk here one hour. You don't... Uh, no worries. He's talking. Uh, if he needs, he's talking. Mm -hmm. Talk with him one hour. He, he doesn't stop. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. He's amazing. I'm, I'm very happy with him. Yeah, clearly, of course. Like, he, he's, he's doing quite well, clearly, for his age as well. How old is he? He will be nine in uh, August. In August, and when did he start playing football? He went, we, when he was uh, four or five, five, I think. Whoa. He had four or five years wow. when, uh, yeah, he was a he was a little boy when he started to play. I remember uh, first time when uh, when I took him here in the. We have a good academy in Cluj, in the team, and uh, he started there. And uh, he is having a lot of passion. 
Uh, he have good qualities. He's left-footed. I don't know. We are all in my family. We are uh, right-footed. He's left-footed. He have a very good left yeah. foot. Yeah. Uh, he's have. He's very passionate, and uh, he's having a amazing uh, attitude and desire. And he's on the on the pitch. He's uh, probably he have this from uh, from me. He's very tough and he have good mentality. This is very important. And yeah. uh, he's sliding. He's sliding. He's uh, going in duels with uh, uh, bigger kids. He have no, no. Uh, he's not afraid of nothing. That's and, great. And uh, I will see. It was. Uh, it will be uh, a dream for me to to see him playing in uh, in high level. But yeah. uh, I don't make from this uh, uh, something that have to happen. I will do. We will do everything to to support him to give him all the, the confidence and the support that he needs. Uh, it's up to him and uh, if you'll uh, become a uh, player, it will be a dream for me. If not, uh, it's not a problem. I'm not, I'm not focused 100%. He has to become a player. He has to become a player. No, yeah. he has to become what he likes. Also in school, yeah. he's very, uh, doing very good. I think yesterday yeah. we got the reports from, from the school. Even if he missed uh, two, three months, he took the the gold medal for uh, for gold certificate. He's making a, he's going to a Cambridge school. He got the gold certificate. We are very happy. So he has second option. He's singer. He's That's... dancer. He's actor. He's commentator. You see how how he's uh, commentating like the commentators from yeah. the ISL. Amazing. He's he has options. That's perfect. I think like he's he's a very talented kid, and I like of course as a, as a father you'd hope that he he makes it as a footballer, but whatever he does, I'm sure he'll do it well. Because anything clearly that, that, that might do, I will support him. It's our job to to support them and to to give them uh, what uh, what they need. After depends on on them what they will choose. Depends on their uh, abilities. Depends on their uh, fate, because sometimes it also yeah. is about fate. For sure it is. What's your first language, Lucian? Romanian. Romanian. Romanian, yes. Yeah. We have Romanian language. And and does does everyone in your country like speak English fluently, or was is it just you and uh, Luca? Many people speak English, uh, English, uh, French, mm. Italian. Uh, also, some people because uh, these are Latin languages, and uh, it's it's very easy. It's not uh, very difficult to to learn. It is like you say, uh, how are you? Chefach. 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 Is how are you? Bine is good. Bine. Great. So Chefach. Bine. Very good. Chefach. The same. Bine. Chefach. Bine. How are you? Good. It's easy. Good. That's why for Luca it's very easy yeah. to... to uh, learn uh, Punjabi and now he forgot a little bit but if he start to speak a little bit he understand him yeah because he's uh, yeah, Punjabi is great yeah. yeah yeah that's good stuff uh what about what about your uh, your bringing up and you you were brought up in Romania and you always wanted to be a footballer sorry Where, like you were brought up in Romania but but did you always want to be uh, want to be a footballer uh Probably yes, because uh, I have three older brothers. Uh, they all play football. Uh, mm. My first brother, the oldest, now I think he's uh, 53. And uh, he played in uh, the, for the team in our uh, hometown in first league after he moved to another team. Yeah. So he was playing in Hungary for uh, eight years in a mm. very good team in Debrecen. After I had another brother uh, who is living in America, in US, but uh, he was also playing in first league Romania. Mm. But he decided to leave to US when he was young. I have another yeah. brother who played for national team for uh, Steaua Bucharest, for Palermo in Italy, for Glasgow Rangers. Mm. He was a very good player. And I grew up with football. I grew up on the stadium. I go was watching the games. I was going for the games. But probably I was uh, having this in my in my blood because since I was yeah. a little child, my uh, my neighbors told me that uh, from seven o'clock in the morning I was starting to play with the ball in front of our building and uh, yeah. kicking the garage door. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about your diet a little. What what do you eat? Uh, 
I have no problem with uh, with extra kilos. I never had. Uh, yeah. Since I was uh, 19, 20 years old, I have 80 kilos. This is my weight every time. So I had no uh, no problem. But of course, I'm taking care of uh, about uh, what I eat. Uh, yeah. I have a, I have a balance. I keep a balance, you know. Uh, mm. I have to take my my proteins and my uh, everything I need for my for my body to be good for training to yeah. to keep my muscles uh, strong because uh, even if I'm 37, I didn't had any injury in my uh, uh, muscle injury in my in my career. So this is something. Yeah. Probably because uh, you are bored with this, but you also have to take care of uh, what you are eating. Sometimes, yeah. uh, also, I eat a pizza. I eat some food that maybe is not so healthy, but not too much. Uh, I, I, I'm taking care of uh, about what I'm eating. Uh, yeah. I like uh, beef steak, and in Chennai now, I was very happy that I was having beef steak almost every day in the in the restaurant. That was yeah. that gave me a lot of uh, a lot of power. Uh, pasta. Yeah. Like I said, you have to, yeah. but also sometimes I'm eating a pizza, uh, you have to, but just have to keep the, the balance. And you of have course. to know when to, to eat something that maybe is not so good for you and uh, not so so many times. But yeah. the most and important what... is to know your body, to know what your body yeah. needs. Because uh, when you have a pre-season and you are making two, three, two trainings every day and uh, mm. not easy trainings, you have to to give uh, the to your body to to give what he needs, and uh, many times you can take you can take some uh, mean uh, vitamins everything from the doctor, but yeah. the most of uh, it you have to take it from the food because like this it uh, absorbs much better and the make it makes the the fiber uh, stronger. Of course. And uh, uh, what about supplementation? You take your omega three years. Uh, your your multivitamins not too much to tell you honest yeah. not too much i was taking something but yeah. not too much uh, i don't feel like i need mm. and if i don't feel like i need uh, when you some players they say that okay i feel a little bit weak i have to take some vitamins to to uh, get a little bit more power i don't know i think this you can take from uh, from food if you if you eat healthy you can take from uh, yeah. from your uh, food okay some but you can take everything, uh, calcium, magnesium. This you can take from uh, from food, iron, exactly. everything you you need. If you have the the right food, you can take uh, from the food because it absorbs uh, much better and faster. So that's true. And like in terms of your the way you eat, do you do you fast at all? Do you do intermittent fasting? Any uh, time restricted eating, or do you just have a lot of meals throughout the day? Uh, no, I always eat breakfast. I have, I think, ten years that I always eat breakfast. I'm was, I'm used with this and the, uh, and the uh, lunch and dinner. Depends okay. of the of the period because sometimes if I if I'm on in holiday and uh, I have a good lunch, sometimes uh, in the evening uh, I go to bed and I remember, hey, I did eat uh, dinner, but my body was not asking for it. Sometimes yeah. I eat good dinner. I go to bed ready to sleep and I need some chocolate. I go back to the fridge, I take a full chocolate, in five minutes I yeah. sleep. After, I can sleep good. I need, probably my body is asking for something sweet. Like I yeah. said, I know my body, so this is very, this is very important. That only makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, I've taken a lot of, lot of your time up, Lucian. Thank you for doing this. Thank you I very think much. I had a good time. Yeah, this I think this is the record long live we've done so far. I think it's one hour twenty minutes. That's not bad. Time flew by. It's not bad, yeah. So thanks to you, to Luca. Thank you very much also for the invitation. It was a pleasure for us. And uh, okay. remember the I remember promise. I remember. So <laughs> if we are coming back we have to we have to make the next live with uh, some dancing. That is that is a done deal, sir. You have it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very All much. All right, Lucian. Happy to doing this. You take care, man, and I'll hopefully see you in and India. Uh, our love from all the people from India that they are watching for uh, for all the football fans. 
and uh, stay safe, stay negative. And uh, our thoughts and prayers are uh, with you to to get back to normal as soon as possible. Perfect. Thanks, Lucian. Thank you for doing this. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Have a good evening. And thanks for joining. Thank you.